In recent times, Canada has witnessed a surge in mortgage loans with volatile interest rates, leading to concerns about a potential mortgage time bomb. The Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation recently released a report highlighting the alarming increase in such loans. As the Bank of Canada's prime interest rate continues to rise, mortgage borrowers are experiencing significant adjustments in their interest payments or seeking extensions to their repayment periods in order to maintain their desired monthly payment amounts. For instance, consider a 25-year mortgage of $319,140 Canadian dollars with a floating interest rate for the first five years and a 20% prepayment in the first quarter of 2021. Initially, the monthly payment is 1,231 Canadian dollars. However, by the first quarter of 2023, the monthly interest payment escalates to 1,939 Canadian dollars, and in August 2023, it further increases to 2,031 Canadian dollars. In contrast, borrowers who opt for fixed interest rates for the first five years will not experience any changes until their mortgages reach maturity in 2026. RateHub.ca, a renowned mortgage cost calculation website, predicts that monthly payments for these borrowers could increase by 20% to 40%. Additionally, selecting a fixed interest rate for the entire loan term may result in an indefinite amortization period since the repayment timeline cannot be determined when interest rates fluctuate. This predicament has become increasingly common as borrowers find themselves juggling rising living expenses in a post-pandemic scenario. Many homebuyers felt fortunate during the pandemic period when they secured mortgages at historically low interest rates, often as low as 1.4%. However, with interest rates surging to over 6.2% and repayment periods being extended indefinitely, homeownership has transformed into a nightmare for many. The pandemic has created an unpredictable economic climate, impacting various sectors, including the housing market. To stimulate the economy amidst the pandemic, the Government of Canada initiated substantial financial support programs, leading to an accumulation of record savings. Individuals, with excess funds and limited spending opportunities, turned to the housing market, benefiting from low-interest borrowing or cash-saving alternatives. However, sudden market fluctuations exposed certain vulnerabilities. The International Monetary Fund recently issued a report assessing mortgage default risks in 38 advanced economies. Canada, alongside Australia, Norway, and Sweden, ranked among the nations most susceptible to mortgage defaults. According to the IMF, countries with high household debt and a large number of borrowers with fluctuating interest rates are more likely to face challenges concerning mortgage payments and potential defaults. The delinquency rates for unsecured loans, such as credit cards, among Canadians with mortgages are also increasing, as indicated by a credit research report from Equifax Canada. Compared to the second quarter of 2022, there has been a concerning 15.7% rise in delinquency rates. Often, homeowners resort to defaulting on unsecured loans, such as credit card payments or car installments, to avoid defaulting on their mortgage payments. The president of a prominent mortgage brokerage, Ron Alfonso, estimates that approximately 20% of mortgages are renewed each year, indicating a potential increase in defaults as homeowners adjust to higher interest rates. By the end of next year, around 20,376 mortgages are projected to default, a significant jump compared to the roughly 7,500 homeowners in debt collection as of May 2023. In an effort to assist homeowners in keeping their homes, banks have proposed indefinite payment period extensions for mortgagees, provided they continue to make their monthly payments. However, many financial experts caution that this approach primarily addresses the immediate problem while potentially leading to long-term consequences. Major banks in Canada have already witnessed a remarkable increase in mortgage payments being stretched beyond 35 years. In 2022, TD Bank, CIBC, and RBC reported that 25% of their mortgages had payment periods of over 35 years, which had never been observed before. The exact number of mortgage defaults that will occur in the future remains uncertain, particularly considering the current robust labor market. Nevertheless, it is acknowledged that defaults will inevitably transpire at some point. Although extending the payment period may provide a short-term solution to prevent defaults, the long-term implications are cause for concern. The metaphorical time bomb associated with the mortgage crisis may have a delayed detonation, resulting in severe consequences.